In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Turns out that a book is more durable than, than stone. It's more durable than a castle. It's more durable than an empire. You don't get away with anything. And so you might think you can bend the fabric of reality and that you can treat people instrumentally and that you can bow to the tyrant and violate your conscience without cost. You will pay the piper. It's gonna call you out of that slavery into freedom, even if that pulls you into the desert. God is ethic-centered, not ethnic-centered. Well, do you want the Pharaoh on your side or do you want God on your side? That's kind of the question. There's a profound sense here that, that what, the, what is going on with the Israelites is the contrast to Pharaoh, right? Like under no terms will you go, and the Israelites have to say, we will go under any terms. And we're going to see that there's something else going on here that is far more cosmic and deeper than what you can imagine. The highest ethical spirit to which we're beholden is presented precisely as that spirit that allies itself with the cause of freedom against tyranny. And yes, so exactly. I want villains to get punished. But do you want the villains to learn before they have to pay the ultimate price? That's such a Christian question. <laughs>